welcome to the Burger Jam. We're here at Royal Oak Headquarters. I'm Big Jim. This is my buddy, DJ Shockley. What's up, everybody? What's up, everybody? We've got somebody in the back mediating, so if we have questions or comments, feel free to send them in. We're going to start off today cooking this lovely uh, 75 lean, 25 fat, certified Angus beef burger. Uh, anybody got questions about that? Send them in. 75, 25. 75 lean, uh -huh. 25 fat. I'm lean. I love the fat too. You're just gonna tell me I'm fat now. No, no, no. I'm just saying I like, like the lean on. and I like the fat too. All right, so we're gonna season these: kosher salt, coarse black pepper, granulated garlic, and granulated onion. I use granulated seasons because they don't clump up. So granulated, granulated, they don't clump up. Don't clump up. More consistent. You don't get that too much of one or the other. Let me do the other side. You do this Come side. On, there we go. Let there me flip it for you. Flip, yeah. He's just here for show. I'm, I'm really, kidding. I really run everything. So he's the grill master here. I'm just here to throw stuff on the grill for him. Thanks, thanks for joining us today, Big Make, make sure you get that consistently all over all surfaces and areas. Consistently all over. Okay. How's that look right there? It looks good. Oh yeah, there you go. You're making a that mess now. So here we got a good hot grill. All our charcoal is white. Everything's ash over. It's a pretty good hot thing. We're just gonna simply lay them on. We're not going to press them. We're not going to mess with them. We're going to leave them. There's mm -hmm. enough fat in that burger to create its own juices so that when it gets to a certain point, it's going to roll it over. No craziness. So you don't want to pat them down. You don't want to pat them down. You don't need to. Why not? There's enough fat in them. They'll turn over. So the fat is what? When it gets that good crust on that other side, you're going to be able to turn it right over. It's not going to stick. Good crust. Good crust. Important with a burger. Good crust. What is crust? Is that because crust sounds like bread? No. Crust on that outside of that burger. That's that rub we put on there? The rub. Yeah. And then that All fire. the granulated stuff, right? All that granulated stuff. Yeah. Gotcha. And then that fire is going to create that crust. Okay. So what we're going to do now. So the char. That's what we're going to Char. What do you say char? Char crust. Come on, man. Char is my language. So the next thing, which takes your burger to a different level, and I tell people this all the time. Um, you want to change your life? Toast your bones. Toast your buns. Toast your buns. We got buns here, right? We got buns here. Right. So, that's how you're going to open these up. All right, I got you. Because I had raw meat on my hands. Like I said, this is my shelf, so I'm just running this everything. So, open this up. So, we're going to take a little olive oil. Drizzle a little here. Drizzle a little here. All right, what's the point of the olive oil? So, it's going to help us brown that bun up. All right. So, I'm going to take a little granulated garlic, sprinkle it on the bun. Why the garlic? Because garlic's good. And then I'm gonna take some dry herbs. This is oregano, thyme, and basil. Just gonna put a little bit on here because it's gonna make it taste good. Now we're gonna leave these to sit for a few minutes. And just, let these just marinate, just close them back up. All right, let's do go. the other two. All right, guys, here we go. Olive oil, people, olive oil. Here we go. <laughs> See what Jim did? Sprinkling olive oil on him. Yeah, you're dancing again. <laughs> like Craig said, you gotta quit dancing. <laughs> so listen, when you put these things on your bread, and we're gonna put them on this hot grill and toast them, it will take just a few seconds. Really, it takes no time to do this. So we'll let those sit up. We'll just give a little glance over here to our burgers. We getting that char, big Jim? We got a little char here. Looks pretty good. Crispy behind the camera, right here. There we Trying go. To look at the that. char. No problems. It just turned right over. It's not, it's not grabbing. It's not sticking. Nothing. So we're gonna leave that be. And you have to spray nothing on that. I didn't spray anything on that grill. I just cleaned it off before I started. No stickage. No stickage. She's rolling good now. Ooh, that looks good right there. So here, let's talk about DJ's favorite spot. What's that? The condiments. Yeah. Let's talk about it. No, just pickled just, onions. Pickled onions. Yeah, sound good. Ooh. Yeah, move on. He's not gonna have that. Yeah, yeah, I'm not about that. So hey, pickled onions are good. So we got a nice fatty burger here. You wanna try to cut that fat. Pickled onions, that, the, the acid in the vinegar, all that helps out. First off, who's cutting fat on the burger? Well, you wanna cut that fat in your mouth when you're eating it. You wanna give it a little balance. Nah. 
Uh, got a question about the gloves. Where do you get the black gloves from and why are you wearing two kinds of gloves? So I'm wearing cotton gloves because the fire is really hot. I wear the rubber gloves to protect my hands and the, you know, for food safety. So the cotton gloves you always want to wear when you're messing with hot stuff. The rubber gloves just for food safety and sanitary stuff. Are you giving these gloves away to people or like no no oh right now gloves are hard to get so i usually get these from my food supplier but they're hard to get right now so if you can find them buy them can't tell you where to get them right now because i can't get them so luckily i had a pretty good supply before the craziness started um next condiment is sriracha ketchup yes yes so my you can, favorite you don't eat it oh it's so easy. I was about to so you can make this from scratch. I used a, a base ketchup, and then I added fresh garlic, um, horseradish. Horseradish, really? Yeah. And then I added some sriracha, and a little black pepper, and a little lemon juice. Um, it's not terribly hot, but it does have a little bite. I ain't gonna lie, it's outstanding. It's my favorite it, kind. Once of again, it is something that will elevate your burger, not something you can just get. I think they make a sriracha ketchup, but it won't be better than this ketchup. These are things you can make a day ahead of time, two days ahead of time, and they'll keep in your refrigerator for quite a while. How'd you come up with this, this sriracha ketchup? Because I don't like regular ketchup. You don't like regular ketchup? I don't eat regular ketchup. Okay. So you, so like you, said, so you said, I'm gonna come up with my own ketchup. Because I come up with all my own stuff anyways. I don't wanna just... Next thing, pickles, quick pickles. Fresh cucumbers that came out of somebody's garden earlier this week. I sliced them yesterday. Um, I got some That's vinegar good. hot. That's good. I added some fresh dill to it, poured the hot vinegar over the cucumbers. It makes a great addition to your burger. Oh, so good. They are delicious. I'm, I, usually, I'm usually not a pickle guy, but I will eat them. I have seen him eat like. 40 of those, he'll eat, he will literally pick the container up and walk off with them. I ain't gonna lie, I'm a picky eater when it comes to a lot of stuff. But this stuff right here, like these right here, wait, what, what do you call these? Pickled onions. Pickled onions, not a big fan of the pickled onions. The pickles, I'm down. Oh, you need me to check out the burger? All right, I just checked on there good. Oh, okay. The next thing we have is an onion jam. So these are basically caramelized onions. So I've basically sliced these onions up, cooked them down in the skillet. These are the vegan version, if you will. I cooked them with olive oil instead of bacon grease. And those are very sweet. They give you that caramelized flavor. Like caramelized, like with that sounds. Yeah, so at the end, caramelized sounds good. I will add a little balsamic vinegar. Gives them that happy taste. Again, what taste? Happy taste. So what? you're adding that vinegar just to give them, cuts that acid, get, cuts that sweetness just a little bit. Does some people have mad taste? Yeah, they get mad taste. So you got happy taste and mad taste? It's, it's madly good, but it's happy. <laughs> Makes you happy. <laughs> You'll die. Um, and then it would come to the, I call it coup de gras. Coup de gras? The chipotle mayo. You got a couple ways to do this. Oh my goodness. You can make your mayo from scratch. My oh, buddy, it could be big Jim. Yeah, my buddy Pete, he makes his little garlic aioli. I would add chipotle to that, but I, I, I had regular jar mayonnaise. And I added some chipotles to that. Chipotle is basically a smoked jalapeno. Um, Christy, I know you are behind the camera right now, but this stuff changes your life. Oh so my. all these ingredients can elevate your burger. Um, elevate. So we have onions, onions and tomatoes to put on your burger if you like those things. I didn't put any lettuce because if you want a salad, put it on. Why'd you talk about the onions and tomatoes like they were just secondary? Like because well, they are secondary. Yeah. Um, you can fry some bacon and put it on there. I, I like the burger to kind of stand alone and add these things to kind of make it better. Gotcha. So this is how you can elevate with these few items. What internal temperature do you cook hamburgers to? Um, if you want a medium rare, you're probably in that 130 to 135. Medium. A little higher than that, 135 and up, 145. Yeah, yeah, 135, yeah. I'm not a big fan of anything above 140. Yeah, I ain't either. I don't Just in general. 
Why? Well, if you cook too fast, if I'm cooking it for you, you ain't getting it above there anyway. So you ain't, you know. So what is? Why? Why? Why is that temperature good? Well, if you cook anything much above that, you have people that just dietary wise they don't like it with any redness in it. Meat, you'll dry it out. Yeah. Now we can dump a lot of stuff on it to keep it wet. Right. But still, you'll have that right. chewy, grainy. Just doesn't work. That's why I like keep it juicy. Keep it juicy. These, you can see right now. There's a really good char. Char. Ha! <laughs> I knew it was coming. I'm change this word to char. Char, baby. You can see the juice is coming. So we're not too much farther away from taking these off and eating them. Yeah. Uh, well, yeah, we're gonna eat them. Yeah, I'm gonna eat it for sure. So, somebody grabbed me a little boat over there. A boat? What do you need? Yeah. What's a boat? Just a little. A little right there. I got your boats, Big Jim. Set them over here. We're, we're going to let these move around a little bit. Um, any more questions? How are we doing on time? Uh, we're 11 minutes in, so we've got, so we got four minutes. So, so when do we put these buns on? Um, in a second. I am so anxious. Anxious is to get this burger in my mouth. All right, so we're gonna to toast these buns real quick. And this is not gonna take very long. Couple, couple seconds? Couple seconds. That's all you need. Literally, it's gonna take a couple seconds. Can you smell that? You can look. Can you smell? You can smell those herbs once oh, that heat yeah, hits them. yeah, 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 yeah. It's these right here, man. These guys. Mmm. You can see this the it didn't take a whole lot to get a little brown on there. Char on the bread. Yeah. On that cutting board right there. They want to know if you butter the buns. I put you can butter them, but I, I put olive oil on for this particular set up. Olive oil is similar to just buttering the buns. Similar, you can use butter. I just prefer to use olive oil just because they're healthier. Saves a little time, a little healthier, a little healthier. Saves time instead of because it's in a squeeze bottle. So you gotta get a fork and smash it on. Right. These buns are so good. DJ's dancing because he's fixing to eat. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna take the burgers off. We're gonna try to let them rest a couple of minutes before we cut them. Give me a little more cook on this bun here. You can see we get a little, don't have to get a whole lot on there, just a little toasty on there. Look at that. Oh, that's the one. That's, that's DJ's right there. He's yeah, still right here right now. now. I ain't put my name on that one. All right. So, I know how DJ wants his. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna. Are you so nice, you're making it for me? Yeah, I'm gonna make it for you. This is the first time ever, right? Yeah, right. Ha! Jim's like, here's the food, there you go. So he's gonna want a little of this ketchup on there. I am, I am. Do you want tomatoes on there? I do. You want onion? Nah, 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 nah. So grab, grab whichever tomato you want. You're okay. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, you want pickles? Yeah, give me a couple of those pickles on there. There we go. You want caramelized onions? No, 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 no. No, so you're good right there. You're perfectly fine with that. I am, I am. All right, so well, let's leave this one sitting for a second. Me, I'm gonna do the same thing, almost. Let me make yours like, like, like No, no, I'm, I'm gonna take care of my own stuff here. <laughs> so I'm gonna go caramelize. Oh, you treat me like a little kid and make mine like. Well, I don't want you to fall down and hurt yourself. So you're so excited over here dancing, I don't want you to get hurt. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some pickles on mine too. But I'm also gonna add some caramel or some uh, pickled onions. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it away. So we're gonna let these sit for another minute or so. How close are we? Uh, we are 16 minutes in. I think we're good. We can keep okay. going. 
DJ, how many burgers can you eat in one sitting? How many burgers can I eat in one sitting? I'm sitting here telling the truth. Is it 75 to 25? That's what we're going with? These burgers here? Yeah, we'll do like, 75 to 25. Now that brisket burger is right around 70 something, 78 percent. So I have seen you tell the truth now. Do I have, a, do I have a, like a, a time period or just like over time? Because I think I could probably eat about two or three of them in the sitting. Now, Maybe are you, now, are you counting just how many was on a bun? Because you had two on the first bun and two on the second, so that actually equals <laughs> four. So that would be uh, two. You're going to say it's two, but I'm going to say two. it's four. Two, 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 two. 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 This figure, i got to watch this figure, right? i got to make sure. So they're fitting my suits and stuff, you know? Hey, Gary, is there a knife over there? Gary, join the party. Is it just sitting right there on top of my cutting board on the, my knife? Do you want to just... What kind of knives do you use, Jim? Um, I've got pinko knives that are right there under that plastic right there. See that black? This guy? Yep, great. This guy's got I've a got carrying all case for I've got all kinds, so it's it, everybody's got different knives for different uses. Whoa! So, depending on what you're doing. You got vegetable knives and easy shop. Oh, so, really so depending on your, your usage, I mean, I've got vegetable cleavers, it's still got chef's knives. Going on mine. Here's your, hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. It's possible. Like scrappy. Pizza roll. Come on, Tyler. Okay. Mm -hmm. Hmm. I'm getting comments. So you want to get a little picture? We got a little meat rare, but I'm, I'm okay with that. So we got some paper towels and some napkins over here, but you're, it's okay for you to get dirty. I can go in. You can go in. So before I go in, I want to say we want to thank everybody for calling in their questions, comments. We want everybody to stay safe. The other message we want to say is, yeah, we, all that. Um, we want everybody to try to be nice to each other and to respect each other in this crazy time we're living in. So go next door and grill with your neighbor. Sit down, talk to them, um, and listen to them. Conversation is everything. That's right. But you got to enjoy this burger first. So hard. And I have good conversation with good people over a nice, good burger. Oh my goodness. I tell you what, happiness. That is happiness in my hand. Thanks, everybody.